As of today, Unturned has been out on console for one whole year. Today should be a celebration of Unturned console's birthday, but it isn't. There are still most of the same issues plaguing the game now as in the beginning. Some good news I am going to give right off the bat is that we know the release date of Elver. On November 18th, Elver will be a free DLC that comes with over 60 bug fixes. I will discuss that stuff when it comes out, but I am really not that excited for it since it's just been so long. I do know that I'm basically copying Mr. Spammel's video from like 6 months ago, but I think I have a fair amount to add on the subject, plus it's the 1 year anniversary so why not. 505 had the chance to introduce a game to a new group of players who knew they wanted to play it, and they blew it by not fixing the game. I don't want to insult the team working on Unturned Console too much, but my dudes, the community is the only thing keeping the game alive. And there isn't much of a community. If we go to YouTube and search up various unturned terms relating to console, there is barely anything with my video that I posted two weeks ago being recent somehow. Speaking of my videos, the only reason I am able to make these videos is because of you guys. I cannot do these update videos slash tips and tricks since there isn't really anything to talk about. Therefore, I've been doing fun mini games with my Discord and that's the only content I enjoy doing. However, these types of videos are difficult since people are busy, I also don't have any other YouTubers to do content with. I am the biggest unturned console YouTuber and I am struggling. To be fair that is partly because of school, but I can only collect maybe 5 people for a video at most, which kind of limits what I can do. This means that I am very limited on content and that probably reflects how the game is doing. But enough of me, I want to talk about the game. The game itself is still playable. You can still jump into a server with your friends and survive, or go into a 15x server and go on a killing rampage. However, no one is really interested in that. The only people I ever see returning to the game are factions. The unturned console factions are surprisingly relevant to the health of the game. The most popular servers are the quote-unquote RP servers, where factions are spawning in their clothing items and guns and just going ham on each other. Their goal is to control the server, and the war amongst themselves keeps the game interesting and they have a reason to come back and play the game. Which that is something I want to talk about. Why should you play this game? Unturned is 7 years old. There doesn't seem like there's anything to do because it's already been done and since it's on console there's no mods. This game is a survival game without the survival. PvP was fun until the duplication glitch and under the map glitch happened. Which both basically made it so you cannot have a base without it getting nanade on. Survival is kind of boring after a while, and roleplay, which many people try to do, still gets griefed instantly. Since there are no admins, which you can sign that admin petition in the description, we cannot have any admin servers. Not having admins has made it impossible for us to host a server with any rules. Every server is anarchy, which is fun sometimes, but not everyone wants to play anarchy. Since every server is anarchy, people who don't like the anarchy will just quit. The only people who like the anarchy are those faction groups that I talked about. This is the part of the video where I actually tell you Unturned, specifically Console, how it is doing one years later. Unturned Console probably has less than a thousand returning players. I'm using returning in a broad sense, as in, they come back to the game at all, not like daily players or even like weekly players, if they come back to the game like once a month. Unturned Console is a fraction of what it should have been. Unturned had a very okay start, it had a bunch of glitches but that just happened at the beginning of a game. However, once we realized that the game barely got updates, that is when it officially became a failure. Actually, no. It officially became a failure when it was 20 bucks. I did not complain about this at first since we got free servers, which, if you don't know, servers cost money, however on console, they are free, which is like the best part about the game. But since it is $20 instead of being free, only a fraction of the players actually got to the game. This was a huge mistake on 505's end, but I will get onto that later since this is pretty important for what I'm going to be talking about later and what they should do in the future. However, you can't just expect to put a 6 year old game that was free on PC onto the market during a pandemic and expect people to buy it after the negative feedback from the trailers. On top of that, you can't just let it flop by not updating it and promising a map that gets delayed so many times that the official name may as well be changed to Nelver. Unturned Console really is a dead game to most people. Theoretically, a game is not dead until literally no one plays it. But since there's no other way to say it, Unturned Console is pretty much dead. Like, prove me wrong. This video is going to get sprung into the YouTube algorithm because it sucks, not because Unturned Console is good. I, at this point, have been ripping on the game for like 5 minutes now, so I should probably stop. I don't want to, like, expose the game on its birthday. That just doesn't seem cool, so uh, let's, let's move on. 
I want to at least try to end on an optimistic note because now that we know that Nelver, <laughs> I mean Elver, is going to be releasing soon, there will be some excitement in the game again, but I don't think that's what's going to save the game on its own. In order for Unturned Console to really succeed, I think it needs to like fundamentally change what it needs to be. The first thing that needs to change is the price tag. Unturned being $20 is unsustainable. I want to know how many new players there actually are. There is zero advertising for this game, so no one will ever know about it. If they lower the price to be free and advertise just a little bit, it will have all the players it needs to survive. So how would they make money then? They could sell the DLC maps. I think it is stupid that we have to pay for DLC maps after it already being $20. However, if the game was free, DLC maps would be perfectly fine. On top of that, you know that useless coin system we have? Make it so we actually can work towards cosmetics. Add the Elver cosmetics that you can unlock by using daily rewards. If you don't get what you want, you can buy them with coins to get them. This would then mean that you would have to compensate for the current players who have like thousands of coins saved up, but if they were to make this change, they would have a new way to make money and in the long run it may be better. Long story short, make the game free, add paid DLC, add viable cosmetics. Second, add admins. This is content that we need in order for the community to stay afloat. Us being able to actually dictate our servers would be awesome. There are so many griefers in this game that there is no way to have a peaceful server even in player versus environment. In PvE, you can still get raided by people, which is ridiculous. With admins, we can fix that ourselves. I'm not going to ramble about this for too long since I have said it a million times. But that admin petition still exists, and you can sign it if you would like. I don't know how much it will actually do, but it's it's worth a try. The final major change is just to fix all the bugs. The last year has only been dedicated to bug fixes and that one update that introduced groups. If we fixed the duplication glitch and the under the map glitch, official PvP would be playable again. It would be detrimental to have the game go free to play and then scare off new players with exploiters. Fix the bugs. 505. You have heard this multiple times. Your game is not okay. And that is all I have to say. There is so much I left out, but I really just don't feel like talking about it. It feels like 505 has forgotten about it and pushed Unturned Console to the side. Obviously, with the Elver release date actually releasing the day of this recording, there is still some hope for the game, but it's just like, I need a break. There is too much delays and all that. Anyways, if you like the video, this is where you like and subscribe. If you didn't, this is where you send me death threats in the comments. If you'd like to send me death threats in real time, I will be streaming ARK on Twitch, so go check that out, and I will see you guys when my public speaking teacher decides not to make me write another essay.